um so um Edward um how 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 do you see Namibia in ten years? Like what do you Oh you guys everyone ever since Hagi Gengo came into power, everyone is saying Edward, Edward, how do you see Namibia? You know what? You know what time it is now? It's 3 a.m. in the morning. I've just had a wonderful evening, you know, with Stephen Harper. Canada and Namibia, we have good relations. I'm Namibia, man, whatever. That's why I'm invited to this occasion. What's, what's your question, anyway? You know, it's late. Uh, you know, you imagine him out or you paparazzis. What's your question again? Like, I'm, I was trying to ask, like, how do you see the country, like, as a whole? Like, do you see oh, it Namibia being... Oh, Namibia is beautiful. It's beautiful. There's no problem. All this trash you hear about, you know, does not exist. It's maybe existing in one little person's mind. What is the point? What What is it? What do you want to ask? Hurry up. Like, I'm asking you, as in the government and the economy and, like... The government, the economy? The government is there to supervise the economy. That is why people get into government, to supervise the economy, yeah, and the whole essence is about prosperity. Okay. The current Namibian government, you know, are focused on prosperity. Mm -hmm. So you cannot separate and tell me that how do you see the government and how do you see the economy. Yes. So, well, the economy, because we all need money. Yes, without money, there's poverty, and then with poverty, there's problems, social Economic, education, health, and all the things. Let me be as good. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why you stopped me. You know. I was also I was also gonna ask you um. As as a Namibian, outside of Namibia, um. Well, what do you mean as a Namibian outside of Namibia? I'm not outside of Namibia. Who told you that? Namibia is in my soul, and, you know, on a daily basis, as a matter of fact, actually, you know, these days I have Skype, I have, what do you call these little things of you people, you know, WhatsApp and whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, I'm not outside Namibia. I'm actually more Namibian than any other person. There are people possibly who rise from their houses, and maybe they only have one appointment. Me, my Skype, I have ten Namibians every day I speak to. Other Namibians maybe you only speak to two Namibians, so I wouldn't understand that. Yes, uh, hurry up, young man. Well, what is it that you want? I was also gonna ask, um, what do you think of the de development of of um Namibia and oh, Caprivia and 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 Caprivia? Like, what do you like? What are your thoughts about? In the first place, I don't think we have anything called the Caprivi. Uh, maybe in my days when I was growing up, but uh, this, you were referring to the Zambezi. Um, development, I think, is what it's all about. I mean, uh, just like here, you see, we have issues of uh, development, you see. And in the case of. Uh, Possibly here is provincial or state, you know. Yes, there is a national development plan. There is, you know, the national budget, you know, with allocations made. Yes. So, in terms of development, of course, you know, those are the issues that I think uh, for those of us who are here and for those of us and the Namibians also who are at home. In the diaspora here and at home, <coughs> we are talking about development. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In all aspects, health, education, you know, you name it. Yes. What else? What, what do you, I just want to know your opinion. What do you think your thoughts on? on my, my thoughts? On, on um, well, what should the country focus on? Well, like what the, should be the, the main The country priority? must focus, number one, on education. And then number two, it, it must focus, well, you see, I, I don't have to think what it must focus on, because number one, uh, what was your name again? Trevor. Trevor, you see, because there are people in leadership, 
And like I say, I think three months, four months now, you know, we have a new administration. Because you have also a little bit to understand of Baba Mugi's background. There was liberation, there was stability. Now I think people are focused on prosperity. Prosperity in itself means, you know, wealth creation. And also you have also to understand that people also have been dealing, you know, with legacies that have been left, you know, colonial legacies, and Namibia, you know, had that sort of triple oppression, you know, of apartheid, or, you know, ignorance, or all sorts of, you know, a horde of, you know, a horde of issues. You see, in other aspects, Namibia is as beautiful as my hotel room here, but in other aspects as well, also you've got to figure out that Namibia also as well, has no, you understand, that it's not like my hotel room here, where you hijack, you know, you waylay me outside there. I thought you were going to ask me about my conversations with Stephen Harper, but it's okay. As in Namibian, I'll tell you that our things, you know, are going good. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Yes. What else? So what did you guys conversate about? With who? You and... Uh, oh, with Stephen Harper. Yeah. Oh, see, ever since. I mean, everyone knows. I'm going back home, you know, to Namibia. And uh, the premier, Stephen Harper, was just wishing me, you know, uh, you know, you understand, like any other, you know, normal person, people who have our good house, you know, Canada has been supporting Namibia for quite some time. Man. You know, it was just a matter of saying, you know, yeah. Mm. You see, do what you have done for Canada, you know, and uh, we hope to strengthen Namibian relationships. Yeah. Is that it? Thank you. Bye-bye. No problem. Thanks.